And a big, big, big congrats on Uncle Frank, a sweet and heartfelt film about finding your truth. Now let's begin with you, Mr. Peter. When you've heard that Alan Ball was writing a movie like Uncle Frank, what did you think? Um, I knew he was writing a movie about Uncle Frank and I knew it was about uh, the, the South and uh, this, uh, this, this Southern family. And I didn't know anything else until I was presented with the script and I read it. And I was so emotionally moved. I read about eight times to figure it out and to, you know, um, and, and it was, I was bawling all the time. I cried the whole time because it was simply very, very emotional and very heartfelt and very empathetic. That's right. What about you, Miss Sophia? Nice to see you again, by the way. The last time I spoke with you was for it. And there, and this one is a totally different film. But what made you want to join <laughs> the case of Uncle Frank as Beth Bled? Mainly, mainly because it was a different film. It, <laughs> it was, you know, it was different from what I usually do. It was a great leeway, uh, a great way to, you know, start something different. And it was such a beautiful uh, story and getting to be a part of that just by being there and being kind of the person who uh, the story is being told through. Uh, um, it just, I just loved it. I <laughs> just everything about it. I couldn't, I, there's no possible way I could say no to this. Um, so I did. Aww. <laughs> well, let's talk about Beth for a little bit. I love her right. budding feminism. Tell us more about Beth and her relationship with Uncle Frank Play They Call Batman. Um, I love their mentor mentee relationship. Uh, just kind of having someone, that one person who would listen to her and make her feel like she's she is a smart person who can do something with her life and she wants to be exactly like Uncle Frank. And then she goes off and uh, goes to NYU and she gets to learn more things about him and gets to see him fully as who he is instead of just this one side that he shows when he comes home and it brings them together and she she gets closer to him and it's it's something i i loved because towards the end she's the one who helps him up and she becomes the mentor and i just love that relationship that they have uh so yeah um and she just becomes more a stronger person and more independent and, and more confident in herself where she actually speaks up for herself when when she talks to that mechanic um uh in that one scene i love that scene that was really great just to go off and it felt really bad he seemed like a really sweet guy um but uh that was one of my favorite scenes i love that scene too and and you mr peter the only character who has found his truth right except to his mom <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, truth is is subjective, right? right? I do believe that Wally has a very intimate and close relationship with his mom, even though he doesn't tell her that he's gay. That could happen. That could happen. It's not black and white. There's a lot of gray shades in relationship. But I think the the the, the reason why he wanted Frank to meet to meet, to come out to his family was for Wally to live vicariously through Frank's family, to have a family through Frank's family, because he couldn't have the part of it with his own sense, not just because he's not out of them, because he's ge geographically very far away from them. So no matter what, you can't have that. That's so right. that was part of the reason why it was important to, for Wally to follow him to South Carolina and have him meet his family. And I think it's important for a movie like this to be made, to be made right now. I mean, take a look at how gay people lived their lives back then in order for us to enjoy what we have right now, right? Yes, absolutely. Not just the, this is uh, this is about love. This is about everybody: gay, straight, white, black, immigrant, non-immigrant, wh whatever you want to name it. It's about people coming together. It's about love. It's about not being divisive. It's about looking at the similarities that we have with each other and not the differences. And once the humankind would be would get a little bit aware of that, then we wouldn't have any more wars and conflicts in the world. I mean, you know, that, that, that's what I think. That's what I believe in. That's right. Thank you so much again. A big congrats on Thank Uncle you. Frank. One more, time. One more time. It's a charming road trip movie about families, secrets, and finding happiness. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, Bye. Bye.